Louisiana is disappearing at the rate of about a football field an hour, and that's probably on the conservative side. Now, I don't mean like the fun way of disappearing, you know, like a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. There it is again. Our land ain't coming back, certainly not at the rate it's disappearing. So today, today's goal is to go out and harvest a few critters that uh, assist in the disappearing of our land, the nutria. Now, if you're not familiar with what a nutria is, it is a big semi-aquatic rodent that ain't from around these parts it's invasive it's been brought over here and it is tearing stuff up so i'm gonna get my uh waders on we're gonna get in this little p-row we're gonna paddle around go find us a few and uh i'll explain more about them as we go and then i also see a few of them uh oyster mushrooms over there so we'll probably cover that too In case y'all not familiar with what a piro is, it's basically just a shallow water canoe, commonly made out of fiberglass these days, maybe some aluminum. Used to be uh, carved out of an old cypress tree. Basically got a flat bottom for shallow, shallow water where you can kind of scoot right across the mud common in these parts. But that's what we in today. We're gonna try and sneak up on some Nutri cause me talking this loud probably ain't helping very much. But uh, before we get too far into things, let's talk about a little safety real quick, all right? I'm in a piro. They're pretty tippy. They're not as good as like an old, uh, like, a, like a good old thick kayak like they make these days. So I'm wearing my PFD, prevent the freaking drowning, you know what I'm saying? Because I have, uh, I have these waders on and if you flip over these filled with water, you kind of could put, and uh, I don't want to go out like that. So make sure you wear your life jacket in certain situations, you know, when the boat's running, put it on, don't hurt nothing. Be in a little pee row where there might be some big boat traffic and you're wearing waders certainly put that on also if you can tell i got the bullet the shell sticking out the side of the gun because i don't want to shoot a hole in my in the boat while i'm out here and i ain't got no way to get back to my big boat you know just a few little safety tips to to get us started i think we got one right there yep that's him let's see if we can sneak a little bit closer though he's on that little tuft of grass right right in front of us You gotta watch how you're shooting these people. Oh, look, there's one. Is that two or is that the same one? Cho! I forgot my earmuff, y'all. That's what I wanted to get. There might be two right off the back, y'all. Look at that. All right. Make sure we back on safety. No, that's two. That's two we got. With these three and a half triple b's y'all you don't want to shoot off the side of the payroll you'll flip this thing right over and you'll be in trouble that joke a rock cuz but look there he is there's one right in front hopefully we ain't got to go walk to get the other one no he's still on a little hill right there might even be another one right here sometimes they huddle up all right that was quick i ain't too mad at that See if we can uh, get this one with the pole without having to climb on. Come here, Bubba. Oh, yeah. Ain't too shabby. Here we go. That's one. Oh. Get some off a little bit. There you go. Whew. That's some big rats, cuz. All right, let's go get that other one. Pretty sure I got that other one. All right, he was right here on the back side of this. I thought, but I don't see him. Uh, huh. I'm wondering if we didn't get him and that was him moving. Uh, trying to get through these lilies and this grass is tough, even with this P-Roll. Huh, I thought for sure we got it. Trying to get 
to where I can see the back side of this. I'm thinking maybe he rolled down. I'm not seeing him. Alright, well. We're pretty steady on these lilies in this grass, so I can ought to be able to stand up. Hmm. I guess we missed him on the first shot. We just spooked him, maybe injured him a little bit, and that was him taking off. I thought for sure we had him. Nope. So we missed him the first time, got him the second time. That was only one. Okay, well, at least we got him. Holy moly. There's one right in front of us. Right there is where we just shot the last one. Let's see if we can sneak up. He's right there in that little bush. See them tall trees right there, that bush down and to the right. Let's we'll see if we can sneak up so I can get a better shot. There's more than one. I want to try and get a headshot on them so I don't mess up the meat. Because that's right. We're taking that home for dinner. Looks like it's a bunch of them. Not even looking at me. Oh, wait. I see little ones. All right, I know this sounds strange, but I'm gonna let the little ones go. Okay, I know they're invasive, and we actually want to get rid of all of them, or so you would think. But for some reason in Louisiana, the if you're recreationally hunting Nutra, you can only have five with a recreational hunting license. Now I have. Excuse me. I want to get that camera off my head. I have. A trapper's license which means i can get as many as i want however we're on public land that doesn't allow trapping so kind of stuck with the limit being five i want five you know nice size neutral because i want the meat so we're gonna let the little ones go i was trying to get the the big one that was on there but uh she was smaller than the babies and kind of went off the back side and uh the little one stayed i'm gonna try and creep around see if i can see him but uh yep yeah, that's the rules don't make sense to me i don't make them don't get mad at me but that's the way it is. So let's go see if we can't find that big one that snuck off the back. I don't want to get to where I got to go too far in that marsh because if y'all watched our last Nutra video, it's pretty tough. All right, so I'm looking around the back side. I don't see them anymore. They probably went in the grass and or in one of the little tunnels they dig. You can see it a lot better right there. One of those tunnels they'll dig in the banks and up and through that grass, there's another one around there, uh, right there. But that's the one of the problems we have with them. They'll eat the aquatic vegetation. They'll eat the roots, which kills the grass, which holds the mud together, which holds our land together. And then they dig holes in that. They'll dig holes in levees and all kind of stuff like that. Their population done exploded. So kind of knock them down a little bit. You can see right here. You can see right there, they ate it down pretty good. You can tell they've been sitting on there just munching away. Uh, a little bit further down is the same way. All right, there's two. Oh, notice. How many is there right there? We might be able to get our limit right here. That's two. I don't see where the third one went. That's two in one shot. It was close. All right, safety on. Let's go see if we can't get them. Those are kind of small, but bigger than the other ones. All right, hopefully this is hard enough for us to stand on. I guess we're about to find out. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, no, we got one big one and one smaller one. So that works. All right, I'll take that. So before we take a closer look at them and I'll tell you how they came to be here, I did want to show y'all 
how much of destruction and what it looks like what they uh what they do around here as you can see all of this mud that's just straight mud that would have been vegetation that was holding all of this together you can see they dug out underneath there um they'll sit right here and they'll just eat all the vegetation dig it dig holes all through there they run these trails all up around here see that mud right there that should be grass all holding it together uh and then if you can tell this right here is what their scat looks like kind of looks like a little skinny pecan out in the shell at least that's what i think it looks like anyway but that's how you know where they've been so you know if you're in the area speaking of invasive species this right here is uh what they call an apple snail popular in aquariums and uh, fish tanks and stuff but these are also invasive and not good for our environment i think them came out of china all right so the nutra is originally from south america came over in about the 1930s when the fur trade was booming they uh they brought it over here thinking that they can farm it and uh you know get some easy easy fur where you just farm it instead of having to go trap it and all of that stuff now some were accidentally released i'm sure some were intentionally released so that they can just go keep trapping it or maybe intentionally as in i don't feel like dealing with this no more so i'm gonna let them go but anyway so they that's how they got introduced they started spreading like wildfire and then when the fur industry crashed obviously they weren't getting uh, trapped or, or shot anymore so they were allowed to just run rampant and wreaking havoc on everything now i think early on in about like the 1940s or 50s uh they thought it might be a good thing because it was actually trying to keep uh, some hyacinth that uh that water hyacinth that stuff that i call lilies that i can't stand uh they were chewing up on that but um because that's also an invasive species it was not supposed to be here but apparently they ain't doing good enough because these things are all over the place and the highest end are still uh, clogging up my bayous and canals. But anyway, I say all that to say, if you want to learn more about them, you can go to Nutria.com. I'll leave that in the description below. Uh, you can check out all kind of information. They got uh, what they call that uh, recipes for cooking and uh, all kind of other information. But this is what they look like up close and personal. If you're not familiar with them looks just like a beaver pretty much the face looks just like a beaver got the same kind of teeth a beaver's got the biggest difference in the way they look is that rat tail that's why people don't like to eat them but i'm telling y'all they're delicious this is just a big old semi-aquatic rodent they got webbed feet as you can see down here that way they can swim really fast and pretty good in the water they'll dive in the water stay out of not sure how long they stay underwater but it's a pretty good bit because i've had them dive in the water and we tried to wait them out and uh, they end up popping up somewhere else that we never could find on the front. Claws are not webbed, uh, but they got them claws. Uh, I guess that's for digging and stuff. But anyway, it's a nice fur. I'm sure that's why it was good in the fur industry. But uh, since the fur industry tanked, not many people get them. Now there is a bounty for them. If you have some private land or permission to, to hunt private land, they have a bounty on where you can get $6 a tail, uh, but that's a separate program. You gotta actually be in the program um they might stay that on uh neutral.com i'm not sure i'd have to look into that a little bit further but since i don't own any particular land and i don't have a lease i'm not getting no money for the tails but it's still worth it for that meat and i tell you what you can even see right there they've been sitting on that one right there that one right there all up in there there's trails everywhere in there that just goes to show you how many they are because that right there that little tree line right there is where we parked the boat right there is where we shot the first neutral right there is where we missed them other ones and we got these right here i mean we ain't going to fall at all and that's already i don't know how many we done saw and we got three so that just goes to show you they ain't running short of them you can see right there it's worn down really good all of that neutral stay on all of that you can see the hole right there that they dug might be some burrowed in there it's crazy 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 Let's see if we can get back in this boat without flipping it oh look some rabbit turds got some rabbits out here oh easy does it easy does it i'm gonna have to get me a p-roll y'all because this ain't mine i borrowed this one from frank and i like it i kind of like it i've been a coon ass my whole life never owned a p-roll shame on me but if anybody got an extra one want to donate i'll let your boy speaking of donating if you do want to support the channel other than uh you know the important part of watching the videos hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing and all of that there's a wish list amazon wish list down in the description below 
you want to purchase something for the channel that we can use in videos use to make these videos i'd really much appreciate it also any of the affiliate links i got in the bottom below if you click on those i get a little credit and if you buy something from those i get a little a little commission on the back end ain't a whole lot but every little bit helps i tell y'all what it is another beautiful day out here on the bayou thank you lord for such a pretty day and opportunity to do what i love I think that might be another one. See something moving by that stick over there, but if it is, it's D90. Or is it? I can't tell. Let's get a closer look. Oh no, it's a Nutra. See if I can't get a closer video for y'all because he's actually sitting there eating eating the grass he's chowing down right now on the grass but we can't let that happen for too long we're trying to save that grass turn the boat so we don't uh, flip out of this thing when we shoot. I think there's more than one. Again. Okay, I just seen one walk off. I don't know. Did we hit one and miss the other or... Ain't no way I missed I missed him that clean. Oh look there's one. Oh come here. Dead gummit. There's no way I missed him like that. Woo! Almost lost the Franke, y'all. No way. How did it no way? Oh no, I see it. We got him. We got the one missed the other. That's good though, because I was trying to get the headshot on that one, which is away from the other one. So safety on. Let's go see if we can't get him. Get him out of there. Ooh, that's gonna be a heck of a battle through all of this. Holy crap, there's one right. I can see one right there in the grass. We almost done, y'all. This is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be a pain. Uh. Oh, that's not too bad. Keep looking around in case we see another one. But I'm gonna head to that one as soon as we get this one. Now, so there's a bunch of more apple snails. Now, I'm not sure if they climbing up there themselves and dying like that. A uh, potential could be otter. I think otter would probably I'll probably go grab them things and sit right there and eat them. Potentially, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. There's some more. Uh, there's some more scat right there from some nutrients. Well, I thought certainly thought he was bigger than that when we shot, but that's all right. That's gonna be the best eating. I mean, and you know the the younger the more tender, I guess. All right, let's go see if we can't get that one over there, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. Head back on to the house. All right, I think this last one we're gonna see how big he is. I think I want to save the last one. I mean, they got so many. We got plenty to choose from. We um, we still ain't made it, but maybe maybe 200 yards from the boat. So I'm gonna get up kind of close, see how big this one is. Cause he's just laying there. Cause I kind of want another big one. And uh, I got some folks that also like Nutra as much as I do, and they gonna want some meat. And I don't mind sharing, cause sharing is caring. Yeah, he look kind of small. Let's go see if we can't find us a bigger one. It's hard to let him go, but he's just laying there, so we'll probably be able to get him on the way back if we don't find a better one. Definitely bigger than the last one, though. 
Look at that, how bad they got that area chewed down. Nothing but a mud flat there. All that got ate up, stomped down. There must be millions of them up in here. Probably all living right there in that cut grass, hiding. No way I missed him. I think I missed him. Got a little too excited. Didn't even get to see how big he was. Or did I miss him? Oh. Oh. I see a tail. Did I get you? Yeah, he ain't running. All right. Well, that's five. I still don't know how big he is, though. The other one might have been bigger. I don't know. I just got too excited. Had to take him out. Man, that was a quick morning. Let's see if we can't get him out of here without me falling out on the last one. Because you know that's when it's going to happen. Easy does it. Man, he ain't that big. Let's see if make sure he's dead before I reach in there oh yeah he's not too bad I mean he's not giant but that's definitely definitely what I was looking for all right well that's fine let's head on back to the boat there you go there's some more there uh, some more Nutri turds some more Nutri scat man it's a beautiful day as we head back to the boat guys i just want to take a minute to thank y'all thank all the guys who've been around the guys and gals that have been around since the beginning those who've uh, been around three years two years one year heck thank you for those who just stopping by this video i really do appreciate it the goal is to do this be a full-time content creator do it for a living uh the channel's been growing pretty slow the last four years but we're getting there we're definitely doing better so i definitely want to thank everybody who takes the time to watch these videos and thank you for the encouragement a lot of you guys encourage me on the comments saying they, they believe i should be a bigger channel they love watching my videos and so on and so forth that helps me helps keep me going you know what i mean i really do appreciate it but i just wanted to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart hope y'all stick around because uh we got some big things happening man we got i got visions i got dreams and uh we're gonna make them work but i can't do it without you guys' help so thank y'all once again i really do appreciate it man i just just felt the need to tell you that i don't know if y'all can see him but buddy's still there sitting there waiting well you live to see another day partner see, it's crazy some of them you can yell at and they don't even move hey i'm right here run 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 no not so much doesn't even care and then some of you make a little noise they take off it's just crazy man i love it out here One more quick stop before we head back to the Cuyon Cottage. Can't help it, y'all. When I see an oyster mushroom, I gotta come check it out. Let's see here. See if I can learn y'all something about these here oyster mushrooms. See this thing right here? That ain't it. I don't know what that is, but, but that ain't no oyster mushroom. Now these beauties right here happen to be oyster mushrooms. And let me show you how you know 
so this is kind of what they look like they start out kind of more white when they when they fresh and they start getting to this tan brown as they as they get older now i'm gonna go ahead and cut me one off right here now if you can see they got these gills the gills run all the way back to the trunk of the tree you're always gonna find them on dead or dying willow trees around here now you can find them on other trees i believe hardwoods maybe um but around here i've only found them really on dead or dying willows and uh these are kind of dried out so these ain't gonna be too good i mean it's still good you can still eat that one but uh that's how you can tell these gills will run all the way down there's no real separate stem if you can see up in there well you can see it it goes all the way back down to the tree and they kind of clump up like that yeah these who no these might still be good these ones down here in the bottom let's get these big ones off see what we're looking at Ooh, yeah we see all this mold stuff i'm not sure if you can eat that so we're not gonna mess with these but when you pick them i recommend cutting them so that this right here that's still on the tree will grow some more mushrooms later on you can come pick them next time i might see if we can find some fresher ones that ain't uh ain't looking like that now i have seen mushrooms very similar to this that actually have a stem like about right here it'll be a little skinny stem that comes out and goes to the tree it's got the gills but then it's got the separate smooth smooth uh, stem that comes out right there at the bottom that, that you don't want to mess with get away with them y'all there is something wrong with the rain that fell last night it then got hard all of a sudden what that's all about well guys it done got plum chili down here on the bar yeah uh that water done turned into what's known as ice which we don't get to see too very often because it don't get that cold down here very often it is 27 28 degrees right now and uh down here in louisiana that air is always damp so it always feels colder than it actually is and uh yeah so obviously it's a few days later because it wasn't that chilly when we was out nutri hunting but what i ended up doing with this nutri right here that we're about to eat since i've always cooked it if you've been on the channel you know for any length of time you know how much i love nutri but usually i cook it in like a stew or i slow cook it or i put it in a pressure cooker make it nice and tender but i've never actually just tried barbecuing it which we're going to try and do i'm just going to toss it on the grill i got it seasoned up right now with just uh this here what this called what this called smokehouse maple there we go come on zoom it. come on now come on focus focus no focus on there you go that smokehouse maple and uh just got it seasoned up been sitting here for a little while we already got the grill all heated up and uh cleaned off so we're about to go slap it on the grill and then i'm probably gonna put some barbecue sauce on there towards the end just to give it that a little uh a little glaze or that little uh coating of extra flavor and we're gonna see i picked the smallest nutra the little youngest one so hopefully you know it's tender enough uh just like that because i don't know i mean maybe the big ones would be tender enough on the grill but i've never tried it so we're gonna do a little bit of experimenting on this one so maybe it comes out good maybe it doesn't but if it comes out great then hey we know we got another option on how to cook it so let's get this on the grill and see what happens You got a little ice right there. All right, Mr. Grill. Ooh, ooh, that feels good. Feels so good. All right, let's get this big old piece on there, the hind saddle of this little guy. Yep. And we got the, the front leg and another front leg. And then this is actually a piece of a big one that I had uh, deboned so the wife can cook something, something scrumptious. We're going to try that too because maybe that'll be different than the rest of it. Ooh, that wind's whooping. Got these little pieces right here we'll toss next to it sit it on that it's gonna end up falling through the grill but it'd be all right all right let me turn it down just a little bit because we want to cook it a little slower than that we're gonna have to close that top or the wind is gonna blow it out all right and now we wait and we shall see all right let's see what we're looking like Ooh, extra crispy I ain't too bad on that side. All right, let's put some of this. Uh, ooh, that's nice and. Well, it's got a little bit more cooking left to go, but it does feel tender. Yeah, these are almost done though. These little pieces right there, don't take much. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this barbecue sauce on it. A little dab will do you. Ooh, that piece might be ready to come off right there. Smelling good, looking good. Yeah, we had to let that big one go a little bit longer, but I think them little ones is just about ready to come out. So let me go get my uh thingamajig. Ooh, I can't believe you're eating rat. Look at that. That look more like chicken than chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little piece right there. Look at that. Try and get a little, a little of that. Oh yeah. Here we go, the final test. I mean, it come right off, so it's pretty tender, it looked like. Just as tender as chicken, ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's try this little front leg. Just pick that up off the bone, just sink your teeth right in. Or so I thought. Hmm. 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 That was a little burnt edge. Let's try and get some meat that ain't burnt. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm. All right, now we're gonna taste that piece that's from the bigger neutral. That's just that piece, you know? Man, that gave me an idea, y'all. I think next time we're making shish kebabs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shish kebabs. Nutri shish kebabs. Now I gotta go neutral hunt again. I'm sorry, I gotta show y'all that one more time. Look at this. It's like he is like the little back strap part of it. Look at that. Comes right off. I mean, tell me that don't just look like chicken. Look at that. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna put the camera on there for you to see, huh? Look at that. Look at that piece right there. I mean, I mean, it looks just like chicken. Tastes similar too, but not quite. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. So if you haven't yet and you get the chance, make sure you try some Nutri, y'all. It is fantastically delicious. And if uh, you're in these areas, or in an area where they have Nutri, and uh, you're a hunter or trapper or whatnot, uh, you might wanna get on that because not only will you be getting some fantastic meat, but you'll be helping out the land saving Louisiana one uh, rat at a time. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one, folks. I thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And if you're not, hope this was some kind of reprieve from, uh, you know, whatever's woeing you. Hope you had a little escape. But anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate you taking the time out to click on this video. So hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you on the next one.